engineer from Software Biz to come on up and give us a demo of those last two points, taking maximum advantage using uh, Grand Central Dispatch and OpenCL. Thank you. Thanks. So this is the planet Mars, and you're looking at the next version of Seeker running on Snow Leopard. At Software BISC, our, project, our products range from uh, research-grade telescope control to educational products like Seeker. Seeker is an interactive solar system simulator that allows us to visit things like planets, moons, and even man-made satellites. And it's available in both desktop and full-dome planetarium editions. Here we are at Earth. Let's turn on a constellation of satellites. There are different kinds of satellites. There's geosynchronous communication satellites, weather satellites, et cetera. And each of these satellites requires hundreds of full double precision computations per frame to calculate its position in orbit. Another type of satellite is space junk. Shown here in red, these can be anything from spent rocket boosters to little flecks of paint, but traveling at tens of thousands of miles per hour. And if you're traveling in space, you don't want to run into one of these guys. Now you can see at over 12,000 objects, we're having a bit of a performance challenge here. Our frame rate is down to five, and you can see one of our CPU cores completely maxed out. The solution to this was Snow Leopard's Grand Central Dispatch. Let's turn it on and see what happens. With Grand Central Dispatch, we're able to automatically distribute the workload of all these satellites across all the CPU cores. And our frame rate goes from five to 30 frames per second. Pretty dramatic. Now, multi-threading with P-threads, to be kind, is a little tedious. Grand Central Dispatch was quick and easy. It took maybe 15 minutes and about a dozen lines of code to make the jump to Grand Central Dispatch for these computations. And the result speaks for itself. So let's head to Saturn now. As you can see, Seeker is all about real-time interactivity or in this case, greater than real-time interactivity. Here, we'll speed up time so we can see the moons of Saturn going around the planet. That's pretty cool. Well, in addition to satellites, our customers also wanted to be able to represent the asteroid field. Now, asteroid orbits are computationally a bit simpler than satellite motion, but this time the problem was one more of scale. Let's turn toward the sun and turn on the ecliptic, and I'll show you what I mean. At the beginning of the 20th century, we knew of less than 500 asteroids. Okay, no sweat. Over the next 100 years, though, that catalog had grown to 40,000 asteroids. And in the last 10 years, we're now up to over 400,000 asteroids. What you're seeing here is every single object cataloged by the Minor Planet Center as of this week. For this number of... For this number of computations, Snow Leopard's OpenCL was the solution, and we offloaded these calculations to the GPU. We couldn't have even attempted this many asteroids using a CPU technology, even on a multi-core system, and you can see we're hardly even touching the CPU. So here we are back at Earth with satellites and asteroids on at the same time. Snow Leopard uniquely allows us to make use of every computational resource in our system simultaneously thus enabling the next version of Seeker in an astronomical way. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Richard. Great illustration of Grand Central Dispatch and Open 